What up, everyone? It's your boy, Satya Mangala, the Reverend of the Revolution, welcoming you to another edition of Your Daily Revolution, the podcast that helps you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper every single day in every part of your life. Today's topic, find a way to get better. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This morning was a great workout, and I'm gonna share with you what happened as I woke up fatigued, but I built so much momentum and I built such a habit of going to bed earlier and waking up earlier, meaning I'm in bed by 9, 9.30, I'm out before 10, and my body is naturally waking up around 4.45 to 5 a.m. Now, why is this so significant? See, the most powerful people that I know, they go to bed early. Sure, we're going to have our days where we burn the midnight oil and we're going to stay up late, but most of the time, the majority of the time, these powerful people get to bed early because we know the power is found early morning. Workout, study, journaling, scripture, meditation, planning, spending time with your children before they go to school, making breakfast, having conversation. What powerful people don't do is they don't sit there and they uh, stroke their cell phones while their kids are getting ready. They really take time to have productive mornings. So the workout this morning was a 400-meter run, and then it was 20 hand clings with 135 pounds, and then it was 10 ring dips, and we had to do three rounds of that. Well, the fun part about this is I used to hate running. So I got a text message about 4.45 this morning from one of my buddies at the gym who says, today there's running, you better get your butt to the gym. And I said, I love running. He said, love's a strong word. And I said, well, when you learn to love what you've hated, the thing that you hate becomes fun and easy. Got to the gym and started pushing out. I'm always looking for ways to improve. This is a characteristic and trait of very productive, powerful people. People who achieve and people who become and people who do things that most don't do, they're always finding ways to get better. In my world, I call it leveling up. This was a phrase that one of my coaches, my brother Garrett, taught me. Level up. Level up. You better find a way to make the jump and to level up. So in my warm-ups, I'm looking for ways to get warm and ready. In my core, I'm looking for ways to just become more efficient and effective. In my running, I'm I'm working on my form. And it was cool today. I found something that really worked. Typically on the 400 meter run, I'm like, ah, man. And I'm looking to the very end where there's a turnaround. And today I kept thinking about Kokoro and Seal Fit and this thing that I've got coming up in September. And I remember during the stretcher carry, during 20X, They talked about micro goals, micro goals to macro goals, micro goals to macro goals. So there were these trees along the road that we run. And I'm like, cool, just run fast for to the next tree and then you can run slower. Then just get to the next tree. Then just get to the next tree. Right? Forget about that big long distance in the turnaround. Just hit the micro goal. Today that made the run easier. In the ankling, same thing. I did the first 15, stopped, then did my five, then hit my ring dips. And I was always looking for micro goals. See, if you become the person who's always looking for ways to simply make tiny improvements, incremental improvements, you're going to notice higher performance, greater achievement, and also greater fulfillment and happiness. I found that today in the workout. If I could just get to that next tree, to that next cone, if I could just get to 10 on my second round of 20 power cleans or hand cleans, 10, drop the bar, breathe five to six times, then pick it up and hit 10 again. Set third round, 10, then five, then five. Then I hit my ring dips. I had to split my ring dips up. Why does this matter to you? Brothers and sisters, you've got to find a way to get better Every single day. This is a trait that I had in football. From my stance to reading the down and distance to reading the offensive lineman's stance. In parenting, how do I become better as a parent? This morning as I was brushing my teeth, putting my contacts in, 
I was thinking about the way that I behaved last night. I was a little fatigued at the end of the day, so I was a little short with my sons. And I'm like, man, that, that's just not going to do, Satema. You've got to find a way to get better. In my weekly planning with my business, I call it the general's tent. The battle is won in the general's tent. In other words, the battle is won in the planning, the weekly planning that I do either on a Sunday or a Monday morning. It preps me for the whole week. So I'm always looking for ways to get better. The thing I want you to ask yourself is, how can I get better? Where can you get just a little bit better with your body, more efficient, more effective? A couple things I've done with my body is I have like knee, these knee wraps, not even wraps, they're like these knee sleeves. I've got wrist wraps, I've got hand wraps, I've got a belt. And I've got my favorite water bottle. Like I'm making my workouts just more effective, efficient by having the right equipment, getting to the gym earlier, doing core work every day. What can you do for your spirituality? For me, the spirituality is a big part of my life. I grew up worshiping God and honoring God and striving my best to be obedient, although I made a lot of foolish mistakes as a young man. A young man filled with hormones and like, wow, there's some beautiful women around. Or, or sometimes just wanting to veg out and just watch sports all day. So how do you get better in spirituality? It's tiny things. For me, it's knowing if I've got church, like for example, I, I got church at 12 o'clock on Sunday. This is the time we go to church with my family. And it rotates every year. We, then we're at a different time. But one thing I've noticed is if I can get up early and actually get a light jog or run and get my body moving, make breakfast for my family, get in the car early, get to church early, like I just feel better. I'm more in tune if I bring supplies for my boys to draw and to write and snacks. They're preoccupied during church because we're trying to have them sit for an hour and listen ain't going to happen. So we have them draw as long as we're there. So I'm looking for every way that I can get better. Scripture study. I don't read scriptures laying on my back. It's just if I want to be upright, I want to be like at my desk. I want to have like a wide open mind and heart, body awake. So I didn't just wake up and crawl in my bed to read scriptures. It's ineffective for me. Again, finding ways to get better with meditation. I've got a great position that I can position my chair, kick my legs up, put my head back. And now I'm doing 25 minutes of meditation, right? 20 minutes was good. But I've been working on doing 25 because I feel like it gives me just a little more. So what, what can you do to get better? Just little ways to get better spiritually. In relationships, this is a fun one. I'm constantly working on this one. With my sons, constantly working on my communication. Constantly working on treating them great. Teaching them, not just through words, but teaching them through example constantly working and finding ways to level up how we play, how we cook dinner, how we clean. For example, right, I typically have my boys clean most of the time. Every once in a while, I'm like, you know what, boys? I'm, and especially when they say, Daddy, we don't want to do this. Ah, oh, Daddy, it's too hard. I'm like, cool, let's put a timer on. Put a seven-minute timer on or eight-minute timer. I'm like, I'm helping you. Let's get this done. And it's amazing what happens when you find ways to gamify and just make cleaning fun and teaching them like how you can get things done and, and faster times, how to keep your rooms clean, how to have a great day. And in business, how do you make your business better? Listen, if you can find small and simple ways to get better, to become more effective, to become more powerful, to drop the stories that create guilt and shame. If you can find ways to get better, you will be that much farther ahead. You will be more happier. You will achieve more. You will find yourself creating more value for other people. But it comes down to the small, tiny details of finding ways and looking for ways to get that edge, to get just a little bit better. And if you'll be consciously competent and aware of it, well, you're going to notice a big difference because big doors swing on small hinges, and by small and simple things, great things are brought to pass. This is your boy, Satemagala, reminding you, if you're going to create a life that you love, a life of real radical results, it's going to require you to get into a relentless pursuit with a ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, your promised lands, and your possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The revolution has begun. I'm out.
For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.